Imagine a place, a place of learning, academy, if you will. Now in this academy, the greatest warriors and the most distinguished mages in all the land train the next generation to become armed protectors of the people. Children, literal children, are trained how to swing a sword, to handle a bow, to cast elemental death from their wands. Now imagine if this institute of deadly warrior training had certain quirks in the way of conducting itself. Imagine if the faculty elders took glee in the failure of their students, berating past students publicly long since they've left the campus, effectively dragging their name through the manure of history. Imagine if the same teacher mocked the first day students for their inadequacy even before they have a chance to prove themselves while cackling like a villainous crone. Imagine if at potions class the first lesson includes the teacher poisoning their students without offering any kind of actual tutoring on the properties of poisons beforehand and then just left the fresh newbies to panic and scramble about like headless chickens as their life slowly ticks away. Imagine if first year students were sent to venture into this dangerous cave of wonders place where everything wants to kill them with no teacher involvement, no safety net, no way to escape if things go awry. Trial by fire, am I right? Imagine if at ethics class, the ideas, or rather the ideals discussed, were equal to that of a common champagne socialist's dribble whilst high on fart gas. Imagine if the things presented as truth were actually harmful naivety at best and dangerous propaganda at worst. Imagine if one of the teachers purposefully and insidiously led the conversation with one of their students into an out of nowhere explanation of their chosen gender identity in order to introduce them to the concept of transgenderism in the veneer of offering life advice. Reminder, all of the students in the academy are under age and the teacher in question is not the licensed guidance counselor of the academy. Imagine if an epidemic of clear as day bullying received no interference from any of the teachers. We are talking verbal abuse, belittling of one's heritage, evolving into full on physical violence in the span of a single day. Nobody cares. Now imagine if the teachers suddenly took interest in a case of roughhousing right before their eyes and took the side of the aggressor instead of the victim due to the fact that the victim in question said some mean words and the violent person just so happens to be part of the alphabet community, so the violence was clearly deserved. Imagine if this institution at once encouraged their students to find their own path, to cultivate their individual strengths, to become the best version of themselves that they could be, while at the same time telling them that their individual aspirations and philosophies are outright wrong and that all of them must adhere to a predetermined oath. Now imagine if this oath, emphasizing the virtues of self-sacrifice and shielding of others from harm, was entirely contradictory to everything this academy and their faculty stand for, as is clear from their absolute lack of care for the lives of their students. Not to mention their utter blind disregard for the looming magical calamity about to engulf the entire world. I said imagine, but you don't have to imagine, because that's exactly the kind of place High Guardian Academy is. Out of all the students unfortunate enough to be taught here, I'd be surprised if any of them could emerge into society as anything other than an emotionally disturbed, sociopathic, violent, morally crooked, absolute wreck of a human being. The only just fate for this kind of horrible corrupt institute would be for someone to burn it to the ground. Oh, well I guess that's taken care of. I shall use my agility. <laughs>